Okay, hello, welcome back. For the past few weeks on my channel, I've been doing a closet clean out series and I'm not done with that, so it's going to keep coming back. But while I've been kind of going through the old, I also figured it might be kind of fun to show you some of the new things I've picked up this year. Some of this is from this year, some of this is from the winter, but these are mostly pieces that I haven't worn yet. There's not too many things, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through and just show where I'm trying to evolve a little bit in my wardrobe, chat through it a little bit. Um, and I thought it just might be kind of fun, honestly, to see. And it's something that as I am cleaning out through my wardrobe, I wanna be looking at what I'm bringing in and see if it's all like feeling like it's working. So today's going to be new things I've grabbed in, we'll say 2024, cause I'm pretty sure most are. That's what we will do. We'll do a little try on. So it's a mix of things. I have two pairs of pants here. Oh, I think I have a third. I'll bring that in. Two skirts, a dress, a couple of tops and that's it so we'll just go through if you're new here i'm morgan i make videos on my channel mostly vlogs but i've been starting to incorporate more fashion try on videos and i'm going to be doing hopefully more content like this in the future i've been in the middle of a big closet clean out and then my hope is after that i can start doing more videos about styling or pieces for certain events that type of thing and show you more how i'm wearing what i've kept um, now that we're kind of clearing through i have kind of fluctuated sizes over the past couple of years i've also so started to get into my early 30s and I just feel like my style has changed so that's kind of what inspired the closet clean out I also live in a small one bedroom apartment so I only have so much space and I need to clear some of that up <laughs> so that's been kind of the motivation for that so there's already I think it's five parts up on my channel that you can go watch if you're interested in that and then today's video will probably just be like pretty short and sweet trying on some new things chit chatting about it and then I'll be back with more closet clean out I think I'm gonna do my shirts I was kind of on the fence about it but I was looking at my closet and I have like a rack where they're all hanging up and I was like you know what I don't think I wear some of these so I think I will go through those next it probably won't be all that exciting because it'll be like long sleeves and t-shirts but honestly if you're into it and you're into basics I definitely have some recommendations so I will be back with that there's always going to be also vlogs up on my channel in between just showing you what I do in my daily life I work at a creative agency as the editorial lead and then I also freelance in the podcast space on the side so i'm always showing that i do ballet i'm on a swim team so all that stuff is in the vlogs but for now let's get into today's little try on as always i've got a little mirror over here so if i'm peeking off to the side don't worry about it don't mind me um, and we're just gonna cruise through these pieces okay so this is gonna be pieces i haven't worn yet the reason behind most of these for not wearing them yet is because it has been minus 20 degrees celsius outside for quite some time um, and in the winter sometimes i like to pop in a few spring pieces um, and i'd say almost all of these are spring pieces so that's really why i haven't gotten to them yet um, so i'm excited so let's just get into it this piece is brand new actually to me this is from aritzia it's from actually, I guess, Wilfred. And it's just this little flannel. Let's see if it has a name. The relaxed, it's just the relaxed top. So let's try it on. I actually just got this in and it was on sale. So if we don't love it, I do believe I could still like bring it back for store credit, but let's see. What I really liked about this was the colors, this like dark orange, there's kind of like a sage green in it and then kind of a cream, I guess I'd say. And then there's white and it just looked really cute. So let's see how it goes. This is a size medium. Yeah, I think it's good. I really wanted just like a really comfy flannel. I have a couple flannels from Maritzia that are a thicker, more, almost jacket-like fabric, um, and I don't own any quite like this. So yeah, I like that. I think with a pair of jeans tomorrow, maybe even like dark denim. Not sure what color top, I'd have to play with that. Yeah, so I'm really excited about this one. I think this is also something that I could kind of transition to the spring, especially here in Calgary, because spring is pretty cold and snowy still so i know i'll definitely get wear out of it for a while but the thing is here when it's so cold you don't even want to wear like button ups like it's so cold you just put on like a big sweater or like layers and then you just go for it so even like a tank top with a coat like a shirt like this 
I wouldn't wear when it's as cold as it has been. So I am hoping, I think tomorrow's supposed to be a little better. And I think this would be really cute for the office. So that is piece number one. I love that. I'll get it washed up and ready to go. This is a little jacket. I actually got this at Winners back in, I wanna say in the fall. And I haven't worn it yet because it's been winter and it's a white coat. This is something I was really planning on using more in spring, summer this year. And it was just a really good deal. I think it was one that was originally like 80 something or whatever, and it was down to like the 30s. So I remember I grabbed it just being like, oh, I like that, I like the fit. Trying it on now, I still really like it. I like that the sleeves are long. I think it's a good length. Yeah, I'm really excited to wear this one in spring and summer this year. I think it's gonna be so cute. So that's my white little denim coat. Um, and I don't really have, I did a coat video already on my channel. I don't really have any white coats. I think the closest I have is like a light beige kind of wool jacket. So this was something that filled a gap for me and will just allow me to wear some of my lighter colored pants um, and skirts without having such a contrast between like a black jacket. So that was that one. It's a winner's fine. Let's see, where's it from? Kenzie jeans, and this is a size L. Okay, this is something I put in this pile because I thrifted this back in, I'm pretty sure the fall, and I haven't worn it. So this one actually, I wanna see if I even wanna keep this, or if I wanna bring it back <laughs> and let them sell it to someone else. It's a little like over shirt, button up, very worn out obviously, it's like a used shirt. So it's like really, feels really soft and worn in. I do actually think it's cute. I'm glad I tried it on. I wish I'd worn this so far, but I can see why I haven't because it is like definitely feeling a little more springy. It's so thin. So I think I'll put this one with the white jacket to go into like a little spring section. And yeah, that's this little top. This one is from Essential Needs. I'm not sure if it's even still a brand. Okay, I did pick up a couple of skirts from Mango. This is a little silky one. I thought the pattern on it was actually quite nice and interesting. And sometimes I find the plain silk skirts can look a little, I don't know, like a little boring maybe. Probably not if you style them right, but I just am someone who loves like color. So I thought this was fun. It's not too bright and it's not too muted. It felt like it hidden in between for me. I like the pattern. I've been kind of liking purple this season. So I feel like this is a way to add a little purple into my wardrobe. I've been following a lot of like Scandinavian fashion and seeing that color in stuff a lot and really liking how it looks. And now that my hair is brown again, I feel like it's a fun mix. So anyway, I thought this would just be like a fun spring piece, obviously not for right now. And I like that this is pretty loose, so I could kind of go a little higher or I could wear it a little more low rise as well. So that's a little silk skirt that's from Mango. I really like that. Okay, this is a newer one in. This is also from Mango and this is a denim skirt. I know these have been like in style for quite some time, um, but I never got one. And I saw this one and it looked like it'd be pretty long. And I feel like it is. I feel like it's like the length I would want. I'd say it's the tiniest bit big, especially like here in the back. But I think it's okay, because I think honestly, I'd maybe wear this like a little lower or I'd belt it. But I really like the color. Most of my skirts are like the one I had on at the start or like that silk one, like a little more thin, probably not for the office. And I feel like this one I could wear to work and I could wear it out a lot this summer as well. So that's this one. And I actually think I could wear this now with like some higher socks, even some tights and some boots. So I think I'll get this one just into my regular pile of stuff. That is this one. Okay, these are from H&M. I'm actually really happy with the length on these. These, I can't remember when I got these, to be honest, but I know I haven't worn them yet. Um, but they're a little pinstripe pant. I could wear these definitely now, especially for like podcast recording or something a little more businessy. They're not my absolute favorite, but I feel like they're cute. They have a little elastic band, it fits well, so I feel like they're comfy. You could wear them a little higher or lower. And I like that they have pockets. So that is these little pinstripe pants. I think with these, what I was probably going for was a little more of like the pajama pant look, which I really love. The slightly more like loose dress pant as well, I really like. And I've been really liking pinstripe. I have another pair of pants I'll show you, similar trend. And yeah, I think it's just really fun. That is those. 
Okay, these ones, excuse how much like belly I have out right now. These are intended to be that really pajama pant look. I am like the tiniest bit sad they weren't a little bit longer and I guess I could wear them a bit lower, but I do feel like they're fine, but I almost know if I put a shoe on, they're gonna be like just hovering. And for this trend, I feel like you really want it to be like super long, um, but I love the color. These were totally inspired by like Scandinavian fashion and just like the pajama pant look without them being quite pajama pants. These were from Free People. Um, and I think they're gonna just be super fun for spring, for summer, just like wearing around with sandals, tank top. But I also think I could still wear them this time of year, maybe when it's a little less snowy out um, or on my trip to Europe with like a sweater and a jacket and like some boots. I think that'd be really cool and they'll still be quite a little statement. So yeah, that is these and I think they're really fun. Okay, these are something brand brand new that I got in just last week. These are the 90s loose carpenter jeans from Gap and I'll show you why they're so cool, but it's mostly because they have this really cool pinstripe pattern and picture that with like a chunky white sweater, a nice jacket, some boots, like I'm so in love with them and they're super long, so I'll show you. But when I got these ones in, these ones are 28, they ended up having like a little bit too much fabric. So I did order the 27 to compare. Unfortunately, you can't buy long in store, so you do have to order it online. Tall girl problems. So I haven't tried these yet. These just came in today. So let's try them on now and see which ones I'm gonna keep. Do you see how long these are? These are giving me the energy I want from those other like pajama pants. And honestly, I'm sure I'll be happy with the length of those when I'm wearing them with sandals. But like, this is what I'm talking about. So much extra length. If I wear them with shoes, they're still gonna like hit the floor. Be careful where I'm wearing them, obviously weather-wise, but like, that's the energy I want. So these ones are the 28. This will be for me to look back on just as much as you to figure out which ones I like. So what I was thinking with these is they just had like a little bit extra here and sometimes I don't love that. I know you kind of can't get away from it all the time, but I do feel like otherwise they're pretty good. They are big here, but that's like not uncommon for me with a lot of pants just because of my like proportions. So let's try the 27s and see. Okay, these are the 27. They're still super long maybe the tiniest bit less long. They definitely feel like they fit in on my waist and on the front. I don't have a good mirror right here though, so I gotta go peek and look at these, but let me know looking at them. The thing I find is tighter is usually tighter here on me, but it'll fit my waist. And sometimes I'm willing to have like the bulkier waist to get the straighter leg look. But what do you think? Which one would you go for? Okay, well, I went and tried those on off camera in front of my mirror and I couldn't decide. Though a size down is like kind of tight right here and I felt like the waist was good. The other size is like loose all over, but really big in the waist. So let's watch back the team, <laughs> see which one we like. Um, but let me know, which would you pick? Which would you go for? Jeans stretch out too, but sometimes I'm like not patient enough to wait and see, you know? Okay, I have a couple shirts. This is like so silly, but it's like a little Snoopy t-shirt. Um, I actually took you to the mall in a previous vlog for me to exchange this. Haven't washed it yet, but I think I will now. It looks cute. It's a little longer. The small was maybe like a little closer to my waist, but the small was pretty tight in the chest. So we're gonna keep it. I think it's kind of fun and it's more for like around the house and going to swimming, that kind of thing. Okay, this is one I got in a couple weeks ago and I never tried it on. And I kind of wish I had because trying it on now, I think I could have sized down. It's probably not returnable now. We'll see. I think it's just like a little bit baggy back here and here, but how fun is like the little rosette on this? I think it's so cute. Honestly, like the bagginess doesn't really bother me, um, but I have been trying to buy things a little more fitted because I'm finding I'm buying a lot of things that are baggy and then it's like baggy on baggy. So I've been trying to get my, at least my like tops a little more fitted. What do you think about this one? Should I try to exchange it? I think it's so cute though and really flattering. So I love this. This is Aritzia, the bloom top and definitely one that's going to be more for spring. 
a little cold for it right now, but I think it's so fun for like going out or just like a cute outfit. Okay, and this is the last little top that I've bought this year. Um, I think you can see I've been trying to get some more kind of like going out tops or just like slightly more fancy tops than like a t-shirt or a sweater. This is just like a little tube top. Um, I do really like this. It is a little bit big. I know I haven't worn this yet, but I had tried it on. So I don't know. The body is always changing and I feel like it works all in here, but it's just a little bit small. So we'll see. I might just need to play with it a little bit, but I really like the fabric. It's really like thick and tight. So it feels like it's like kind of sucking me in. And then I love this little like tie bit up at the top. And I think it's just going to be so cute. Spring, summer, something a little more fun, something a little different than just like a straight tube top but still pretty neutral, which is my style as well. So I like this. I wanna say also like I like that it goes so long so that I could wear it with like something more low rise and have that proportion. So like this skirt right now is up here. So I could wear it with like a much more low rise skirt, even like something like the tie dye one. And I think it'll be so fun or like lower rise pants. So yeah, I love that we're starting to get some not as cropped shirts back. Okay, this is the last one florals for spring. <laughs> um, so this is a dress from Dynamite. I love the roses. I think it's so fun. I used to have a lot of really fun like floral dresses back in university. I feel like that was all the rage in like the 2010s. So it's kind of fun that's come back around. This is one again, like maybe I could have gone a size down. It feels like a little big up top, but I think it's really fun. I think it's such a cute dress for um, particularly my birthday party, which will be at the end of this month. And I wanted to wear something different. So I picked this up for that and it'll probably be freezing cold out. So I will most likely wear it in my own apartment if we have people back here or do something like that or throw like a sweater under it, we'll see. But yeah, that's everything that I have purchased but haven't gotten to wear yet in 2024. I hope this was kind of fun to watch. I'm really excited to get to wear all those pieces in spring and summer this year. And I just think I'm just trying to have the good vibes with the colors and the slightly new styles to try. I think it's just gonna be really fun. So I'm looking forward to spring summer fashion on my channel, but for now, it's still freezing out, so this is just a little taste of kind of what I'll be working with. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit subscribe and hit like. Drop a comment if you have a preference on those pants for me because I gotta return one of those ASAP. And otherwise, I'll be back very soon with another video. Thanks for being here.